So today is Monday the 31st of July at 7am. I'm awake early so I'm, I'm checking over my thesis, um, making sure that everything is looking good and spelling is fine and that everything's on the right page order to make sure that like for example the images and the legend is in the same place on the same page. <sighs> Today's handing day you guys, I'm super excited. Um, I'll take you with me, I'll show you where I get mine, where I'm going to get mine printed and bound. I'm really excited, it's 218 pages, so it's quite long, um, but you know, I couldn't shorten it anyway, so. Anyway, I'm going to get back to checking this and I'll catch up with you guys later on when I leave the house to, to get it printed. This is where I am printing and binding my thesis. Uh, cool. Right now I'm just saving some videos I, um, that I put into my thesis. So for example they're of some cells, let me show you guys what it's about. So like this, you can see the cells dividing, um, I'm trying to save them on the USB to then put them in here. My brother is doing this for me right now. Don't, can you, can you be careful? <laughs> no pressure. What, the, what are you doing? No, 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 you can't remove my feet. Hold the corner. The corner, okay. Wait, wait, I'm not holding it. It's going to go roughly. Why are you stretching it so much? I don't understand. Am I falling down? So exciting! And this is all my work. This is super exciting, you guys. Super duper duper exciting. These are my cells. Wow, it's really nice. My western blots. That's what my thesis looks like. I ended up having seven. Um, 11 chapters. So these are some images of um, HeLa cells, um, their cortex, and you can see each actin filament pointed out there. I just worked so much for this that it doesn't feel real that it's actually here. Why does it feel so official? I don't know! <laughs> Do you want me to like come to sign it or something to prove that you do? <gasps> Yeah, I've my pieces. I'm so excited. Thank you for all your support. Honestly, you guys, thank you for all the support that you guys have, you guys have given me. It's just amazing. All the all the Instagram uh, messages that I've been receiving, and all the um, good luck, and all the well wishes that I've been receiving. Honestly, you guys, it means so much to me. So I just thought I would let you guys know that um, I have received them all, and I've read them all, and I honestly am so grateful. This is how I'm celebrating my thesis submission by eating pizza. Right next to uni. Woo. Right now, I'm supposed to be going to the Tate and it's absolutely killing it with the rain outside. It's pouring so badly. I don't even know if I want to step outside. Um, I'm, I'm just figuring out whether or not I want to leave the house in this treacherous rain. This is, this is the London summer, by the way, you guys. This is London summer for you. It's like 15 degrees. I'm wearing four layers of clothes and it's pouring down with rain and this is the London summer. For anyone who's not from London, this is what you should expect. <laughs> I just have um, a white blazer on that I got from Forever 21 a few years ago. It has these like black lapels and then I have this like black sort of vest thing that I got from Primark for like three pounds and it's amazing for wearing underneath things to, to give you like a long like back layer and then I've got my Uniqlo wide legged trousers on and I'm pretty much I think that's it I might change the scarf to a different color but uh yeah that's what I'm wearing today <laughs> hey everyone welcome back to my vlog my PhD vlog so this is the last one that I'll be releasing until I don't know when honestly because I finished my PhD now. Woo! So today is the 9th. So I haven't actually picked up my camera in about in nine days basically. So the last clip that you saw was from last Monday and today is a Wednesday. So it's been a while. I've just been enjoying my time. I've just been going around London. You guys should definitely follow me on Instagram because on Instagram I post 
um, on my Insta story almost every single day and all the things I've been doing in London and kind of just going out and enjoying myself. Museums, the O2, what else have I done? Um, just restaurants, places to eat, things to do. So the last thing I have left to do now is to do my Viva. So the Viva, I don't know if you, how much you guys know about PhD. I made a thesis and the thesis is now done. It's gone. It's now in the hands of the examiners. So now I have until October to basically do nothing with my PhD. I don't do anything with that anymore. Um, and I now have to wait until my Viva, which is the oral examination. And it's when I defend my thesis. They will have my thesis in front of them and they'll have all the questions they want to ask me and they're going to just like ask me all these questions and then I have to answer them. And yeah, that's why they call it defending your thesis because I'm essentially defending it with everything that I have. They have asked me so many questions over the past sort of videos and I responded to some of them, but a lot of them are, are recurring and I thought I'll just answer them now um, at the end of this video. So I have them written down here, so I'm gonna try to answer them to the best of my ability. Question number one is taking notes. How are you able to get good notes um, when listening to a lecture, I guess? Well, for me, I would say have a highlighter at hand, have a pen at hand, have a piece of paper. Also, make sure that you look at the lecture notes before the lecture because it'll give you a good idea of sort of what to expect and then when you go into the lecture you kind of know what's coming up and you can focus in the points that you know that you're weaker at and question marks writing notes of what this what the professor is saying and then after the lecture look at them again rewrite them if you have to um go over the points that you didn't quite understand and i think that's probably the best way you can go about them Okay, so how does one have effective or productive meetings with the supervisor that's a good one actually when i first started my phd i found that my supervisor will talk so much. I come out of the meetings feeling like I don't remember a single thing that he said. And so what I started to do was take my phone and to record him. So as he was talking, I would record him. And then I would go, after the meeting, I would go and re-listen and then write things down. So I'd have um, like a transcript of what he said. That really helped to be honest because it meant that I could listen during the meeting, write things down and then after the meeting I know that I'm able to go back and re-listen so that really helped. Um, I have a, so what I'll do is I have an agenda so before the meeting I knew exactly what it was that I wanted to talk to him about so I would have like this is these are the things that I want to talk to him about and I'd write them down how to cope with stress um, including what to eat. Let's say make sure that you keep a good balance between um, doing extracurricular things and doing things outside of your PhD. So if anyone who follows me on like Instagram for example would know how much things I how many things I do outside of uni to the point where people will question that if I'm still doing a PhD um, because they always see me traveling or they always see me doing things and I think it's really really important to maintain a social life um, because that means that you have time where you escape from the I guess the PhD if that makes sense. I am amazing at doing that. <laughs> I make sure that I always 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 take time out for myself um, I make sure that I always travel, um, I make sure that I really switch off and I think that's so 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 important and it cannot be emphasised enough. Um, I, I always always tell people to do this. But I cannot emphasise how much I promote play hard, work hard. That's sort of my, I guess that's my motto in life. Anyone who knows, who knows me knows that this is how I, this is how I am. Like I work really hard and then I play really hard and um, you won't miss me for either thing. How long does it take, this is this is a random one, but how long does it take you to get ready as a non-hijabi? It actually takes me about 10 minutes, literally. <laughs> I'm a very quick getting ready, like a few people have asked me to do a get ready with me. There's, there's nothing to it. Take a shower, moisturise my face, I then put, I just choose, I literally just pick anything from my wardrobe. It seems like I put things together, but I just literally just pick anything out. And then I walk out of the house. <laughs> there's nothing else that I do. So it really takes me, I think the other day I got ready in about 15 minutes and that was including my shower. Before I was a hijabi it would take me a little bit longer because I had my hair to do and I had to like do my fringe and straighten it and things like that but um, yeah now it takes me like 20 minutes. A key for that to, to shorten getting ready time is maybe plan out, an out if you're the kind of person that plans outfits out then do it the night before and the other thing is pack your bag the night before as well. I find that if I pack my bag the night before, then I don't forget anything. My Oyster card's always there, my wallet's always there, my um, 
whatever I need, my Vaseline, my charger, my phone, they're all in my bag before. So I'm not rummaging around in the morning trying to find things. I think that is that wasted a lot of time. So definitely do that. How do you select a field of study? That's a good question. I get that question quite a bit actually. Um, I think for me, I knew that I wanted to do biology and I kind of liked the topic that was advertised in the PhD, which is why I kind of went for it. But I would say if you don't really know what you want to do, I would say to go for a 3 plus 1 PhD and that's the one where you, the first year, you do three different projects um, and then you get to choose which one you want to do for the actual PhD. So that's an amazing way because that means you're not committed to doing a specific thing for your PhD, but you, you know that you're doing it in the field of biology, for example, and then you'll do three different projects in your first year and then you can then decide which you want to go into. Those are very competitive because you get paid from the beginning and also they're like like you said they're, they're for like i said they're for people who they're for people who are not 100 percent sure what they want to go into so they're, they're an amazing um scheme but they're very competitive and you have to do really well on your masters and your undergrad to be able to get in them so i would say for me i knew that i wanted to go into biology and it just was a natural sort of progression from my undergrad and my masters and i knew that i definitely wanted to do this um so for me it was it was quite simple there's not really a complicated like long-winded answer for that really i'm sorry <laughs> I think those are like the main questions. If you have any more, do write them down below. Maybe do a video with just FAQs. Please do follow me on my social media. I'll put everything here somewhere. Um, and yeah, keep in, keep in touch and message me with any advice that you need, any questions that you have. Feel free to send me an email, um, DM on Instagram, on Twitter, um, or even send a message down here and I will be happy to answer. I don't know what the next one's going to be, but I'm going to try to think about what direction I want to take my videos in and um, hopefully I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Oh, and thank you so much you guys for all the support. I cannot, un I can't explain how amazing it is to receive all your messages all the time saying congratulations well done thank you for this thank you for inspiring me this and other and it really really means so much so thank you thank you so much you guys but for now see you soon bye